I know there's gotta be more. Wait, 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 yeah. There is more. Disappointed! Ain't no way this is over here. <laughs> is there anything else? No. No? Yep. Too small. Unbelievable. You're kidding. I gotta check the online stores later. <laughs> Pretty sure they have it much cheaper. Yeah. Ooh. Well, that was a rather quick stop. That was disappointing. Transformer section was a disappointment. Lamo. Three weeks later. Going in. No. What? Hindi ano? Medyo misalign yung mata. Eh. 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 Sixteen hundred. Okay. That's not bad. For this price. <laughs> oh. Nice. Yeah, that. You're kidding me. No. <laughs> There's a lot. Oh, yeah, wait, there's gotta be more right here. Where is it? Where is it? There has to be more. I know there's gotta be more. Wait, 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 yeah. There is more. There's a lot. No. Galeria is the galore. There's a lot of rhinox. 
I only see this online, like too many run ups in one store. I'm not fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm that's everywhere. Wow. Is there more? No, oh, wait. Is that it? Wait a minute. That's it? Yeah, that's it. I thought there was more. Maybe it was sold out. Well, anyway. Yeah, so, hold on. <laughs> nice. Okay, let me go back. Oh. Okay, so we're back. I'm back at home. As you've seen on the video, on the first one, it was just an old video, uh, an archived video at Eastwood. Yeah, so you saw there was really basically nothing much on uh in eastwood uh the mall there however as you've seen on the later parts of this video we saw something like a lot and that is in robinson's galleria not a whole lot of people go there as you've seen in this video um yeah there's basically a lot and not a whole lot of people just go in the mall because it's getting overshadowed i guess by mega mall um every basically every mall green hills like th there's a lot of hobby shops there so um yeah and then north ed sign trinoma so yeah like there's a lot shangri-la and uh yeah there's a lot of malls in those areas so galleria is basically overshadowed but that was my first time going to galleria so um yeah as you've seen, there's a lot of Marvel Legends, like very stocked on Marvel Legends. That's the first, you know, that's the that's a sight to behold for me. Like, that is the first time I've ever seen so much Marvel Legends. And there's a lot of Transformers. Transformers didn't back down on stocking in that mall. Although recently, it had deluxe classes, now, but now it's uh, sold out. So, yeah, it's mostly Warriors now. But as you've seen in the video... There's an Optimus Prime Gamer Edition from War for Cybertron, which is rare because I've never seen that ever since the toy event on uh, Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Like, basically, the event in, uh, you know, the release of the movie, there's a toy event in Mall of Asia in SM. So, yeah, if you haven't seen that, I mean... The gamer editions? What? I'm tempted to get this. I am so tempted to get this. I am so tempted. 
I am so tempted to get this. What? I already got this for pre-order, but like it's so expensive. What I got is 2,400 instead of this price. So, yeah. I would think so. Um, a couple of hundreds. It didn't gain a lot of views because it's, you know, probably a thumbnail, I guess. <laughs> should be toys but um, yeah anyway though uh i bought two because if you guys remember the head on my spider-man yes i unboxed them already the head on this one is pretty much you know it's not aligned properly the web line is not aligned properly so yeah the eye is pretty much you know so you can see right there like there's a chunk of gap there so uh, yeah I don't have a workshop nor materials to just customize it, so I had to do a sacrifice and buy a new one. And so I had I grabbed the opportunity and then saw it in Galleria and I found another head that's basically not good. This time though, it's in the opposite side, you know. <laughs> it's it's on the other side, this one. This side. That is bad. This one though is on this side, so yeah, I don't know if you can see it very well, but yeah. And the figure itself is uh, in good condition though, and some are kind of misaligned here on the chest, the spider logo, although it's not very noticeable. So yeah, this is still a pretty good figure. It's just that the mask is bothering me. That's why I bought a new one. Maybe I'll sell this in the future. I'll put it back in the box. I take care of the boxes. So, <laughs> yeah, that's why it's still in good condition. But, yeah, so maybe someday I'll uh, I'll sell this. As you may have already know, I purchased a new one. <laughs> yeah, as you see. As you can see right there, I purchased a new one. Yep. And it's almost at the same price that I got it. Basically, I got this at uh, almost the same price as this one. This is uh, pricing around 1,600 pesos, Philippine pesos. This one is around 1,500. So basically, this is much cheaper because I pre-ordered it. So yeah, this one is priced on retail. And I saw it on retail. Um, there's only two stocks for this specific figure and the other one like I said is the one with the head that's not very good in the video as you saw as you saw in the video and uh, this one the head the mask is perfect <laughs> yeah the head is perfect I don't know if you can see it though but yeah there you go see the head is perfect and so is the web line in the chest the spider logo is in the center so yeah this is basically i'd say perfect copy because my andrew garfield is, is a perfect copy this one it's in perfect copy the eyes that the mask is good everything is perfect i i don't see any problems with this figure which is why i'm very happy about this one <laughs> Because this is my second most anticipated for the entire wave. And then we got Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Yeah. It's almost in, I think it's almost, or is it in perfect copy? I think it's in perfect copy as well. Yeah, I don't see any problems with this figure. I think some of the web line on the mask, but it's barely noticeable. Well, actually, yeah, it's not much though. Yeah. Yeah, it's barely noticeable. Like if you, if you just see this in person, it's not, it's not bad. My figures are great except for this mask. It's noticeable if you just see it up close. This one, if you see it up close, the mask head is in perfect condition. The web line is perfect. So <laughs> it's pretty good. So, yes, I spent more money and yeah, just to get a Tom Holland figure that's in perfect condition because this is my favorite suit. And before I ship this out by tomorrow, this is for Action Studios, by the way. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I bought it for him. Uh, he's going to pay me, though. <laughs>
Because he can't see a figure that's this price around that rate that is ranging around this price a thousand six hundred pesos so yeah a retail price basically the prices for this figure and the Tom Holland figure is pricing around two thousand and almost two thousand pesos more than two thousand pesos in general so yeah in so let's generalize that so that will be two thousand pesos that's around less than 40 bucks yeah <laughs> around 30 dollars for this figure can you believe that crazy actually for both of these figures honestly so i don't know if you've seen it there's only one stock for this andrew garfield and i i told action studios that there's only one left and he said mine <laughs> i think it was just messing around but then my mom took it seriously so it was like why not i was like okay <laughs> i mean yeah i mean i did say to auction cities that um i can get it for you then he can just pay me that's what homies do man <laughs> so uh yeah i got it for him although we did see some uh misalignments on the head but he's gonna fix that he said he's gonna fix that that's easy work for him because he has the materials because he customizes bumblebee from the rise of the beast uh studio series so yeah anyway got this for him you know i got you man i got you <laughs> especially when they when we have the money and then you know you can just you know pay us and yeah that's it yeah, because I told him it's better to buy it at a retail price and then just ship it out to him instead of going at that place, which would, if you do the math, it's much more expensive than just shipping it to him, you know? So it's better that way that we can just, that I can just ship it out to him. And yeah, basically, I got this for him. This is not mine. This is a, not another copy for my own. This is for action studios and this one is for mine again <laughs> pretty happy with this one because uh i don't see any problems with this figure like the head is in perfect condition i love the head sculpt the mask head yeah if you can just look at this figure the head the mask head Especially, you know, it's in perfect alignment, the web line. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't know. I'll most probably sell this, you know. Uh, I'll sell it at, uh, I don't know, less than, I guess, less than the original price. So, yeah, what else can I do? So, yeah. Anyway, I'm still satisfied that I got this, you know, in perfect condition. It's better to see it in person. Than just buying it online you know especially for marvel legends when you know there's a factory defect so yeah and that's what happened with my tom holland so yeah got it though and uh yeah so uh yeah i'll send this to auction studios i mean i think uh you'll probably receive this figure before i even upload this video so yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching that is it for the toy on i mean this is mostly highlighted on marvel legends because there's not a lot in transformers i mean there is a lot but like marvel legends when it comes to the the waves of the figures you know because transformers is lacking right now like there's not a lot i mean they don't have the animated legacy you know and then they don't have the new studio series like uh, Megatron, the concept art from Bumblebee movie, and um, 
yeah, the Scorponok, Wiljack. I mean, obviously, they won't have that because I'll be corner and the others don't have it yet. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that is all. So, yeah, I'll send this to you. Actually, see you. And, uh, yeah, hope you're happy with this figure <laughs> because I'm pretty satisfied with this uh, Andrew Garfield figure, this Tasm figure. And, uh, yeah, now I'm satisfied with this figure again. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah. See you guys on probably more toy hunts whenever that comes. So, um, yeah. See you guys then. Peace out.